Make sure the bearing retainer screw is removed and place the slotted end of the polar into the bearing bore. Tap with a dead blow mallet until the polar is fully through the bearing. Insert the dowel pin until it bottoms out on the case. Approximately three quarters of an inch should be visible. Install the polar bar over the polar and guide the threaded portion through the hole. Ensure that the polar bar is fully supported by the edges of the case. Place the washer over the threaded portion of the polar and then thread the nut down until it meets the brass washer. Hold the polar steady using a 9 16 wrench and turn the nut clockwise with a 1 and an eighth inch wrench until the bearing is removed. Assemble the tool according to the instruction sheet. Lubricate between the bearing installer pilot and the bushing as well as the bottom face of the bushing. It is also easier to lubricate the bearing bore now before the plate is installed. Follow the instruction sheet for the proper polar plate and dowel pin placement for the install. Insert the provided alignment dowel and install the press plate onto the case. Make sure it is in the correct orientation indexed in the instruction sheet. Thread on the provided nuts, but do not fully tighten. To align the installer with the bearing bore, lower the installer pilot by rotating the screw clockwise until it bottoms out in the bore. Now that the tool is aligned, tighten the three bolts with a wrench and allen key, checking after each one that the installer twists freely and is not binded. Lubricate the bearing and install it onto the installer pilot with the letters facing upward toward the tool. Hold it in place with your fingers while turning the screw clockwise until the bearing contacts the bearing bore. Using a 3 quarter inch wrench, turn the screw clockwise slowly, driving the bearing into the bearing bore. Rotate the screw until the balancer bearing stops. Remove the three bolts and remove the balancer bearing installation plate. Disassemble and store appropriately. Wipe away any remaining lube and reinstall the retaining screw per your owner's manual.